Hi guys, welcome to another great Android applications video. This video is available for uh, any Android device. It is available on tablet. I have done a, um, a tablet video of this application because it doesn't quite work on a tablet yet. However, it does work on smartphones uh, much better and it's a bit of a sneak peek because it's not available on the Google Marketplace yet. Uh, there was a post on a forum with this application available uh, to download. The application is free anyway, so I don't believe it's um, a copyright theft or anything like that. It's just um, since it's been leaked somehow and I think it's supposedly supposed to be released on the Samsung Galaxy S3 I think but it's available on the Galaxy S2 on the link that I will provide uh, on this video and it is Flipboard, a news aggregating service that can tie in news from topics that you select and your Twitter feed, your Facebook feed <clears throat> and uh, it's a bit like uh, Zeit um, but uh, that's a, Zeit was a application of choice for me, but uh, I wanted to give Face Flipboard a try for a couple of um, months and finally it's arrived on the um, Android operating system. So here we are, this is what it looks like. I'll see if I can get back to the uh, front page. So here's a cover story which uh, doesn't look too good on my camera at the moment, uh, but as you can see it's flipping through the cover stories quite nicely. If I just press on the cover stories it will then give me some headlines. So we have an Apple one there, if I flip it uh, we have some information about a Microsoft One and if I press on it, it should go into the news story itself and uh, then I can scroll up and down the news story and it's very intuitive, uh, very usable <coughs> div um, application. So we have a news story here and uh, I could view it on the uh, a web if I wanted to but we won't do that, we'll just move on to another one and uh, again look at the story and uh, see how this one loads up. Some uh, news stories as you can see here uh, load into the actual website itself. I don't know what the distinguishing um, aspect is, why it sometimes loads up the new story within sort of a Flipboard application or has to load it up in a website, but that's one of the things it does. And one of the issues with this is you can't actually pinch to zoom to view the story, which as you can see is absolutely tiny. What I can do is double press and then I can view the new story, which is a little bit better. Um, but it's just not ideal. I would prefer that the news story stays within the application so it just gives it a more intuitive feel and flow to the application. But it's pretty slick, pretty responsive and there's lots of um, content that I can look at. If I just go back to the cover story, um, the main part of the application and I think if I go up there to the search we can have a look at my flipboard and um, let's have a look at some extra topics I could add. So I think there's some presumably popular ones up here or advertised ones here. I can press on Tech Meme and then um, look at some stories on here. And if I like the look of these stories as they load up and think it's a good source of news, then I can actually press the plus button there and it will say that it's added to my flipboard. So that when I go back to my flipboard, here's the cover, but if I flip down, we can see now a tech meme has been added there. So now I can look at why Kevin, whatever his name is, as I've just lost the application, but there, again, Kevin has done something. Kevin Ryan asked somebody to step down, uh, which is wonderful, but it's loaded again in the website, so I have to double click it and just view there. So, mostly a very good application on the smartphone. Really, really smooth and easy to read most uh, stories, even sometimes if it's actually loading into the um, applica into the website itself. It's still pretty good. I'm going to find an example here where it just keeps the new story within the application. And as you can see, very readable and easy to use. And then you could view the original article on the web. I wonder what that would do. You could tweet information about it, set up as a favourite, look at comments and so on. So that's a very quick look at um, Flipboard. I didn't want to go into too much detail because uh, kind, it's kind of just been released and I kind of wanted to get the news out there, but the application is this. I'm sure there's people who know a lot more about Flipboard that could tell you all the best things about it. To be honest, uh, I'm still not convinced by the app itself. Um, news story-wise, on the smartphone, I tend to use the Guardian News website and the BBC News website, but this could be an interesting competitor uh, to those news aggregators. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it interesting. If you do have any questions, I'll uh, try and see if I can find out the answers to them as I use more of the application. And I'm sure I'll do a more in-depth look at the application when I've used it a bit more uh, and certainly when it 
it's been kind of officially released as a tablet application as well, as uh, I do a lot of videos on the Asus Transformer Prime. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again in another video, whether it's for the Asus Transformer Prime or general Android apps, soon. Thanks for watching.